Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture with a little free brush Monday. And I'm really excited about the brush that I'm gonna share with you um, this week. It is a floral theme. It's spring uh, in a lot of places. So I thought spring florals, why not? And I know what you're all thinking, florals for spring, how groundbreaking, but why not? I could use some happy little flowers in my life right now. And this brush this week was inspired by the wisteria that's growing all over here in the south of France. Although I think the season has already just passed, but over here on my left, I've got a little snapshot that I took when I was taking a walk the other weekend and it's just growing everywhere. And I think it's really enchanting around here because they have, you know, the architecture, the walls, things like that has been around for so long and it's so um, live, you know, it's, it's not like newly planted. It's, you know, these are bushes that have been here years and years and years, and it just looks so um, magical and beautiful, you know? And so I'm like a little kid and I just think it's so enchanting. So to go along with the free brush, I created um, some color palettes inspired by this wisteria. And of course, as many of you guys know who use my color blending Photoshop brushes, the color palettes, I just create them directly from the photographs. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll have the link down below where um, to a new blog post actually where I describe the color blending pattern stamp technique in detail. So that's a new thing because I know sometimes people need a little refresher, but it's so easy and you can make these amazing color blending brush strokes. So I created some pre-made color palettes um, and, uh, and I created the colors from my photograph of this wisteria here. And I'm just gonna show you some of the brushes that, um, the free brush, and then some other brushes that look really nice with the floral color palettes. So actually, um, the free brush that I'm giving you guys this week is from my Floral and Lace Photoshop brushes, the Floral and Lace Romance, which are these amazing painterly, it's got floral motifs within the brush and lace, and they're super romantic really pretty to layer on top of each other and like you see here in this picture and let me just pop up here's some of the color palettes um, that i created with my original um with the original collection and as you can see you know i layered some blush brush strokes on these little color palettes but just how abstract and floral and beautiful that they can be so it's really nice Excuse the yawns, my goodness. And um, here's some of the brush strokes that you can see here. And what they work really well by themselves. And all of these are a single brush strokes, you know. So you're getting the color blending all within the, and that really beautiful floral um, lacy effect all within a brush stroke. There's n This is like a single stroke, instant satisfaction. But the best part of these is actually to like layer them on top of each other. And then you can create some really cool effects. So... There's, this is a kind of a smaller collection. Um, there's 10 brushes, but they are, um, and I will just let you know, I'm gonna have them half, if you like this brush, I'll have this, uh, this set and my Romantic English Garden uh, on half price for a few days on my website. So if you like it, definitely check that out. So right here we have um, a little, just a, like a border that I created with these brush strokes. And here you can see some of the, um, the brush, strokes in, brush strokes in action. And I just layered a couple different brush strokes from this collection. And you know, you get that like subtle effect and it looks like painterly and they're not like literal, you know, this isn't a literal drawing of like wisteria, but you totally get the vibe, you know? And I love abstract things. Number one, because I can't really draw that much <laughs> and like literally like, you know, realistic drawing. And I just think it's more interesting. So I, I just love it. So the brush that you're going to get is brush number one from this collection. And I'm just going to grab one of my pre-made color palettes that I did here and show you this brush. Let's just zoom in just a little bit more here and we'll get it like over here by the, let's just so you can see the color palettes here. So. This is brush number one, and it's really lush. It looks really good. Um, here's another one of the color palettes. I'm actually giving you like seven color palettes. So some of the color palettes have the 
the purple and the green mixed together, which is really nice because you can use that as your foundation. And then some of the color palettes have like that are just green. So, you know, when you want to add like some little spots of green in there or like the purple from the, the flowers. So this brush stroke is just really nice, really abstract, really, um, really luxurious. I think it's just very painterly and like you could think that, you know, this, this is like complicated to paint, but I'm literally just doing a brush stroke. So that is the free brush and I'll have the details down below. And then let's see here, we're just gonna show you a couple other ones here. So here is like brush number three. This one is like a little bit softer, but like I could take brush number two, which has got like a little bit of a harder, harder edge and kind of layer it on top. So, you know, you can make, use these for like, you know, social media graphics, wedding invitations, um, what else? Like anything feminine, digital papers, uh, all kinds of things. And they really look good if you, if you layer them. Like here's brush number six, and I'm just gonna give you a little, little demo here. Like literally I can go like this and create a monogram out of like just, just painting that brush stroke, you know? So you can make some really cool things. There's like a letter R. I don't know if this is like the best brush stroke, but anyway, um, you know, you can just have like a lot of fun with that. And all that is, is like one single brush stroke. So a lot of fun. I love, I, you know, I love the color blending effect. It's very um, abstract and very versatile. Here, number 10 is really pretty too. Like, let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay, there we go. This one has like a very watercolor feel actually, and I like how the colors blend together. So super fun. And what was the one that was like, I can't remember what I was gonna do. But um, yeah, so you can just have, kind of have fun, like layer them on top of each other. You know, if you wanna put some, you can you know lay down some of the purple like this. Anyway. All the color palettes are free. There's like seven of them. So you could just have fun, mix and match, layer your brush strokes. You can make really gorgeous accents, um, monograms, wedding invitations, blah, blah, blah. And also the, these look, the Romantic English Garden, I will also have on sale for a few days. These ones are really nice as well. They're um, very good for, let's hear, let me grab a, one of my color palettes. Here's one of my favorite, brush number nine. Let me just zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna give you a little preview. And this one, and these ones are cool because the lighter you go, they're pressure sensitive now. So you can go lighter or heavier and you get different kind of effects. And let's see here. Here's brush number 10, which you know, you can have it very soft. This is a little watercolor -y, um, but you can also push down hard and then the colors are more dramatic. And then here's like brush number 11. So again, you can layer on top, you could create quotes, you know, put it on the side of your quotes or take some like stock, uh, you know, line art and, you know, use this as a background. So there's a lot of good examples and ideas on my website. So just to recap, you'll have the brush number one from that collection, the tool and lace, rom or it's flower and lace romance Photoshop brushes. So you'll have brush number one, which is actually my favorite, and you'll have seven color palettes. Um, I definitely recommend checking out the English Garden um, Photoshop brush collection. And then also if you're totally new to this technique, I have, um, you can actually download some of my brushes for free on Adobe Create and in my sampler on Adobe, or it's actually Adobe Creative Cloud, you can get um, two of the English Garden brushes, I believe, nine and 24. So here is the two that you can get for free and I'll have that link down below. So definitely get your color blending brush magic on and 
I'm all about the freebies because, you know, like sometimes people are on a budget. So I always want to make sure I take care of my people that are supporting me and my working brushes and, you know, always got a freebie in there. So let me know what you think about this brush. If you have any questions um, or what you would like to see next. And then don't forget also, um, I recently launched my Modern Renaissance collection and some jewel brushes. So it's a lot of fun. Oh, and other news, uh, I just got on TikTok. So I thought I would join the madness a little bit and have a little bit of fun over there. So I'll have that link down below, but anyway. Hope you enjoy the free brush. I'm like a little bit scattered this week, a little bit hungry and, but I just wanted to get this out. So hopefully you guys like it and don't forget to subscribe, like the video, give me a comment if you want to help uh, my channel grow or give a little support, give a little shout out, whatever. All right. See you guys next week.